Hi everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome to Vanessa VIPB. I am here today with another video. I am at Hobby Lobby and one of my subscribers asked me to do a walkthrough through Hobby Lobby. I asked y'all if it was some stores that y'all wanted me to do walkthroughs on and uh, Hobby Lobby wasn't on the list. Even though I think I have done a walkthrough of Hobby Lobby around Christmas time, but they wanted me to show them Hobby Lobby. It is a uh, Valentine's season and Easter season. So this is a good time to come to Hobby Lobby because yeah, I know they put seasonal things out. So let's go into Hobby Lobby. And you guys know that uh, Hobby Lobby is seasonal they have seasonal things and so uh is my pants you know how sometimes you know, the seam in the back be crooked but anyway y'all you know they be playing music sometimes so i am going to have to do uh some music overlays i don't know though uh Cause Hobby Lobby be playing like instrumental music and stuff. I don't know if you can put that kind of music on YouTube. I can't remember if I had tried to do that or not. So let's go into Hobby Lobby. As you walk in, they have a lot of what do they call these? <laughs> I forgot what they call them. I have some at home. Lots of plants. Lots of plants. The flo uh, faux topiaries. Let me just walk and show y'all some plants. Right now they have instrumental music playing. So I don't think I'm going to get a copyright strike for that but you never know you never know with youtube this is like diy heaven hobby lobby oh they have bathrooms up here i didn't know that's what the bathrooms was at I think I might have went to bathrooms in another in the back. Y'all let me know, like, is it a certain section y'all want me to do a walkthrough through or is it the whole store that you guys want to see? So let me know. Which section y'all want to see? Like this is just a lot of different plants. And stuff right here. The faux. I know when I used to do uh, more mukbangs, I had some faux stuff to put up there for me to do my mukbangs. Stems, bushes, garlands, reefs, dried naturals, and swags are 40% off our everyday low price. So that's good to know. Excuse me. Oh, I was gonna go this way. Thank you. She was so pretty. She looked a cutie patootie. A lot of different size vase. So it looks like they have a lot of floral here. I would have thought like the Easter stuff would have been in this section because this is where they put the Christmas stuff at. So I guess they have more Christmas stuff. Uh, lots of floral up here. So I don't know where the more floral. I don't know where the Easter stuff was. The Easter stuff when you first 
walked in like straight. I don't know. So, and y'all tell me, look at the sewing material. They got this that kind of looks like, uh, what's that brand checkered pattern? That's cute though. Lots of material. Y'all let me know, like, do y'all want me to break the Hobby Lobby and stores like this up into sections? Like, do you want me to do a video on a section? Because this store can be a lot. It can be a bit overwhelming because there is a lot to see. And I don't know how I could show it all to y'all in a, I don't know, what length of video, which I want it to be, 20, 30 minutes. Oh, look at that, that's cute. 20, 30 minutes video. So this is $19.99. I like the fact that they are not playing music loud. And it's just instrumental music. YouTube might not trip over this. So this is like a lot of ornamental things. Where would y'all hang this at? Some of these big ornamental things like where would you hang that at over a fireplace or what mirrors mirror mirror on the wall who's the fairest of them all who is the fairest of them all. A lot of gold mirrors and they're 50% off. Sale ends, um, do they have a date? I think it's 923, no? I was looking at this right here, 0923. That can't be. So, I don't see a date that they end. And we have lamps. I seen some cute lamps at, uh, I think it was, mm, what store was that we was in? Girl, you know how you be seeing some cute things and then you don't remember what store i don't know if that was tj maxx or home goods that we were in it was a do y'all remember that store we was in <laughs> where i showed y'all the lamps more ornamental clocks I don't think people really use clocks anymore. Everybody got a phone. Children have phones now. So, I don't think people. So, this is picture frames and stuff. I'm not going to spend much time over here in the frame area. And the shadow boxes. I'm not going to spend that much time over here. So let's go. I don't know where they had the Valentine's Day in the... Maybe that's going to be up front. So let me know, y'all, what is a good length of video for... Uh, for walkthroughs like at places like Hobby Lobby or do y'all want me to that's a pretty green 
or do y'all want me to like do a section by section and if y'all did want me to do a section like what sections would you want to see when I go in the store I actually like to walk the whole store because I get different ideas like I see stuff differently I don't always see stuff for what it's intended for so I actually like to walk through every location because you might find something that you're not even looking for or that you don't expect so here is the Easter things is anybody a big Easter fan do y'all do a lot of decorating for Easter I'm not a big holiday buff You know, I really just live life and I don't really like celebrate holidays. I celebrate my birthday, which just happens to be on Christmas Day. And I kind of like to be alone on my birthday, so that's why I uh, would have the birthday bash celebrations. And Hobby Lobby has some of everything. Some of everything. If you looking for some decorative ideas, wall decor is 50% off. And it's good to come when they are having sales. And one thing one of the salespersons told me, like they alternate different stuff every week. So if they don't have what you want on sale this week, more than likely it might be on sale the following week. And that's pretty. I'm still trying to fit, get something to inspire me to what I'm going to do in Miss Charlene's bedroom whenever I go back there. I don't think I would find anything in here, though, because... Uh, I think those lamps that I was talking about was in at home. A lot of y'all said that y'all didn't have an at home in your city, in your state. I need to see where there is a home goods. But I think Hobby Lobby is more like, um, I don't know, that country boho aesthetic, like the boho aesthetic. I get a lot of country and boho aesthetic from Hobby Lobby. I am an eclectic. I like a little bit of everything in my designs but I'm kind of more modern and elegant and antique like the mixture of those three modern uh, elegant and antique 
would be more my style. I'm not really into boho and country. I mean, I could do it. I could do anything like if there was a client or somebody that wanted country. But I think whatever I do, I would still glamorize it. So I think I could do country, but it would still be on a glam scale. I would add some glam to it. Because ultimately, I think all women like a little touch of glam. And then if I'm doing something for a guy, it could be more masculine. But still, I think guys like glam too. They like things that are nice, but they just are not going to be the one to do it. So a man probably don't see the vision of what he wants. Sometimes you have to show people not necessarily what they want, but what they need. Like, <laughs> I had a friend. I decorated a space for him. And he was hollering and screaming and kicking the whole time. I don't need this. I don't need that. I don't need this. No, you don't need to do this. And you don't need to do that. And girl, I just ignored him. I just 100% ignored him and just did what I knew was best and organized stuff to where it would be effective and all of that price guide. Why they put 40% off on stuff and the holiday is not even here yet? That just means to me, to me, I'm just saying, you got 40% off on Easter stuff already. And it's not Easter the same way you did Christmas. I just think it's too hot to begin with. Two ninety nine. Well, that's not too hot. But forty percent off of there. It's a good price. I, I guess maybe I could be wrong about that. What y'all y'all tell me what y'all think? If they put forty percent off on something, and it's not even the holiday yet, hasn't arrived. Does that mean it's too pricey to begin with? Let's see. Plush animals, paper plates, napkins, home decor, baskets, plastic eggs, crafts, fabric, and more. Does not include candy and food. So this is $4.99, 40% off. I was acting like it was 50% off. So, yeah, anyway, y'all, when I uh, got through with my friend's room, and then when other people came over and seen it, and they was like, oh, this looks nice. Oh, you was acting like it was, you know, oh, such a horrible thing that she was doing. And everybody was like, oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, I like it. Oh, it's organized. Oh, it's clean. So... He didn't really like it until other people praised it and liked it. Some people just like that, yeah. Sometimes you have to give people what you know they need. <laughs> and let them go kicking and screaming. Let them kick and scream all the way. Look at the eggs. Let them kick and scream all the way to Kingdom Kong. So if you guys are needing anything for Easter, I don't know if y'all have somebody that's born in the month of, and then they got uh, the St. Patrick's Day. See, I don't celebrate all these. You know, there's a holiday for every month. And that just makes you spend money. Oh, my goodness. The only way I'd celebrate 
every holiday is if I got this stuff at a thrift store for really, really cheap. But to go out and fund stuff for every single holiday, there's a holiday for every month. Two and three holidays for every month. Mm -mm. I can't do it. I couldn't do it. The, you would be broke for the rest of your life. Like, I would just be decorating with the same stuff over and over and over again. <laughs> Put it up every year. I wouldn't be adding nothing to my collection unless a family member or a friend gave me their stuff from last year. But I couldn't do it. I wouldn't want to decorate for every single holiday. Oh, they got a lot of stuff. So let's start over here. So this is where all the, okay, Valentine's Day. I was wondering where was Valentine's Day? Do people celebrate love the way that they used to? I don't think so. I don't think love has the same meaning that it used to. Y'all let me know in the comments. Okay, now this is starting all the little Easter. This is a ceramic Easter bunny. Y'all let me know if love has the same meaning that it used to have so they have some more valentine's day stuff on this aisle over here wow they got a lot of easter stuff i mean yeah a lot of easter stuff people must really celebrate easter I wonder do they, because I know they're going to have like a clearance, but I wonder do they pack up everything they don't sell and just bring it back out for the next year? I don't know. A lot of baskets. Did y'all used to uh, enjoy Easter when y'all was a kid? I think you enjoying holidays too had a lot to do with how they were celebrated when you were a kid. Uh, holidays were not a big deal. So, uh, as a child, Holidays were not really a big deal and celebrated and stuff like that. So, I guess as an adult, you don't really make a big deal about it. But I think if holidays, I'm going to look at these rugs when we come back. I think if holidays were heavily celebrated as a child and, you know, your mom got into the holidays like Raven Elise... She celebrates almost every holiday except for, uh, what, what holidays? She don't really celebrate. She goes all out for Christmas and Halloween. I don't know if she really celebrates Easter. Mm, I know she celebrates Valentine's Day. Uh, she's having a little like Galentine's, Valentine's Day because she's single. But I don't know if she celebrates Easter, but she celebrates a lot of holidays. So I think like her daughter, when she grows up, she's probably going to do a lot of celebrating because her mama do a lot of celebrating. So 
I just wanted to look at the mats. They got a lot of vibrant summer colors. I would like to find another mat like the one that I had got from the 99 cents only last summer. So, uh, I'm going to have to keep an eye out on that and hopefully they bring back the same thing that they had last year. Okay, y'all, I'm just talking to y'all and we're walking through and almost through the whole store. Uh, ooh, $3.99, $2.79. It's, it feels very sturdy, but... Like, is that going to provide you some shade or something? <laughs> I don't know about that one. Two seventy nine. I don't know. So, I'm, I'm, I'm forgetting what these things are called. Uh, it's not going to tell me. Are they flamingos? Because I forgot. Look at the umbrella, y'all. That reminds me, I need an umbrella. I need an umbrella. I haven't had anything to eat this morning. And I started eating and chewing on my corn nuts. And that's been my breakfast. Corn nuts. I don't know why I thought it was a bathroom back here that I had went to before. Maybe it was at another location. So if you guys decorated your yard, what would be the theme? What would be the theme of your yard for the summertime? Like, what's your theme be? The flamingos or the sunflowers or birds? One of my friends liked to have a uh, bird, uh, bird houses in their yard. And they fed the birds and they put uh, water out for the hummingbirds every year. Caution, extreme gamer. <laughs> gamer, hey gamer. Caution, extreme gamer. Spider Man, nobody knows who you are. Y'all remember this? A field of dreams. Build it and he will come. I remember that movie. That's one of my favorite movies. Y'all ever seen that movie, A Field of Dreams? That was a good movie. If y'all haven't seen it, y'all need to go see it. I need to go see if that is on Netflix. Because I need to watch that movie. A Field of Dreams. So I guess this video is going to be over 30 minutes long. Let me know 
what is a good length for a walkthrough? Y'all know somebody with a uh, child that likes Spider-Man. That is very colorful. I like that. Y'all let me know what's the length of the video y'all would like on a walkthrough. Or y'all don't care because if I'm walking through the whole store, it's just however long it takes. Or what? I just need some feedback, y'all. And another thing. <sighs> like, because I live in my van, and I know a lot of you guys don't live in your vans. You do home life. But I know a lot of you guys, you know, like when I'm in the city, instead of staying in the van all day long, I can just come out and do some store walkthroughs. But... I need the videos to get views. Like, I need y'all to watch the videos. I just don't want to be making the videos. And they not getting no views. So, since you have a lot of friends that don't live in vans, if you could share the store walkthrough videos with them. If you could share them with them. And y'all, I can't show y'all the prices of all of this stuff. Like, it's 40% off. You see something you like that will work for your home. You see it's on sale. You see that Hobby Lobby have it. Girl, now you know to get your butt together and put on some clothes and come down here. <laughs> and I think everybody has a Hobby Lobby in their city and state. So tell me. If y'all have a Hobby Lobby where you're at. And you can leave multiple comments on the channel. Like every question I ask you. You can answer it separately. Because this is for the pets. This is for the pets. So if anybody wants to have a tropical party, here are some tropical party ideas. And that's what Raven at least does, y'all. She makes, she does a lot of DIYs for her tropical, well, all of her uh, parties. So if y'all likes looking for some DIY ideas, y'all follow uh, Raven Elise because she is really, really good. It coming up with all different kinds of theme party ideas like she's really good at that I think she's gonna end up with her own HGTV show I think that's what she's been gravitating towards and aiming for I think she's gonna end up with her own show uh, so yeah she is very, excuse me, she is very inspiring and creative. 
And I think she's going to be a household name. Like uh, uh, the other people in Waco, Texas. Uh, what's their name? Jim and is it Diane and the Gainers? Because she actually even went to their property to see something to see like what it was all about and Jim and Joanne is it Jim and Joanne Gaines so yeah I need to find a jacket or something to put uh, my patches on so y'all this is the end of the store i mean i'm pretty sure it's a lot of crafts in between that i didn't see but the video is like 34 minutes long then i still got to add my intro to it so anywho <laughs> uh y'all know with all the arts and crafts and stuff or so anyway y'all i think this is gonna be the end of this walkthrough video I hope we don't get a copyright strike because if we do, then you and I hear my voice and then we're just going to have to let y'all just watch what everything I do because then I ain't going to want to talk because I talked through this whole video. So they just have a lot of arts and crafts, letters and all of that. So anyway, y'all, let me know if you enjoyed this video. Make sure you share this video with your friends and your family members so the walkthrough videos can get some views so I can continue to make them for you. If you guys like them, then watch them. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Even if you think you are subscribed to the channel, double check and look at the subscribe button and it, it if it doesn't say subscribed with an ed then you are not subscribed to the channel so hit it once then hit the bell then hit all and you'll be notified each and every time i upload a new video or i go live thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys for all your love and support i love you guys i appreciate you guys for everything you do if you want to support the channel in any shape form or fashion my information is in the description box below my cash app my paypal my amazon wish list and my mailing address just look below the video click more twice or the down arrow twice and all my information will appear you guys have a blessed and wonderful day thanks for watching bye now